We're now going to have a look at how to group data once we've created a pivot table. I'll just run through the basics of creating the pivot table again. We've got our data and we simply use insert pivot table. It will automatically pick up your cell range and you choose whether or not to have the pivot table in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet. I've chosen the existing uh, a new worksheet and then we choose which fields we want to go where in the pivot table. I'm going to put um, sales as the values and it will automatically sum them. Remember we can change that if we wish to. I'm going to put country as my row label and we will put year as the column label. So there you can see the data. We've got the countries down the left hand side, the row labels and the column labels are the year groups. And of course the data is shown here and it's summed at the end of each row and each column. Okay, so we're talking about groupings now, how to group data together. One way is to use the existing fields in a more meaningful way. For example, we've got a field here that we haven't yet used, category. If I add the category into one of the areas, so I'm going to put it in with the row labels, just pop it there underneath country. What we get then is the country can be split up according to category. I've got the plus sign next to it, or next to Wales for example. If I click that plus sign, you can see the category of sales is then listed underneath. So we can see that the computer supplies for Wales was 12.55 million in the year 2000. Nothing after that. Let's have a look at Spain. We'll expand that up. Spain has got computer supplies of, of 0.32 of a million in the year 2003. So that's grouping the information together and we could choose where we want that to go and how we want to choose how to, to display it. If I shrink those back down. For example, we've got category after country. If I just click and drag that up slightly, we can put it on top of country and it changes the way the information is displayed. Now we've got information grouped by category. So we've got the computer supplies as the main bit there. Click the plus sign and that's expanded up to show the, the way in which the sales for computer supplies is split according to country. And the values are of course there. Do the same for filing cabinets and we can see they're split down also. I'm using this plus and minus sign. You can also use the right mouse click button to do the expand and collapse to expand and collapse the various sections. That's right click, expand and collapse. Just moving these fields around changes where the information is displayed. Let's for example put country up as a column and have year as a row label. Now computer supplies is split according to the year group for each country coming across here. So it's just a question of how you want that information displayed. That's using the inbuilt field to group the data in different ways, but you can actually create your own grouping as well. I'm just going to try and keep it simple to start with. I'm going to put my year back up as a column and I'm going to remove the category and bring country down as a row label. That's sort of back where we were, simply our countries and our uh, year groupings. What we can do, you can see that these years, 2003 are all part of the to, to, to 2000, are all part of the 21st century and you've got 1999 and 1998 as the 20th century. Well, we can create groupings of that. Anything that's like-minded, if you will, you could just select like I have done there and then right click and do group. That creates a new group called group one out of those that selection. And that means we can expand and collapse just that group. Now group one doesn't make sense, so we can rename it. You can either click in there or use the formula bar to rename it. 
let's name this uh, 21st century if I can spell okay so now we've got a grouping for the 21st century and we can expand and collapse the 21st century let's do the same for um, the 19th century we just select the column titles right click group create a group 2 click on group 2 and rename it let's call this whoops let's run that again let's rename this 20th century so we've now got a grouping for the 20th century again we can expand and collapse these so we can see the sales figures for just the 20th century perhaps and then we could using the skill that we had last time we could right click on the 21st century and expand or collapse from there so that's creating groupings either using the inbuilt fields that are already there or adding in your own grouping categories and whatever we've done there on the columns can also be done on the rows for example we could select Wales hold down the control key select Scotland and England and then we could right click and do group and it creates a group out of those countries there and of course we could rename that group um, Great Britain so that's how groupings work using the inbuilt fields or creating your own one more little thing to show you with groupings if I just select my data and insert a new pivot table see I've just got simply name date and sales insert a pivot table and I'm going to use name for my row labels um, date for my column labels and sales for my values so that's what we've seen previously you can see now because we've got dates here Excel knows its dates and can treat it differently so when we're doing groupings for this if I right click and choose group now it knows we're working with a date and allows us to choose the beginning and end date and how to group for example a could group by quarters and it sorts them into quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four so I was right clicking grouping just like we've been doing but I could choose how to group it individual days right click group hours not hours that wouldn't make sense months 